Hey, and welcome to Past the Popcorn. It's getting closer to Halloween. I've been doing spooky, scary movies. Tonight's review is on the 2001 film, The Others. It's about an hour and a half long. It's PG-13. It stars Nicole Kidman as Grace. And we're going to butcher these next two names. Alakina Mann as Anne, the daughter. And Fionula Flanagan as Bertha. James Bentley as Nicholas, the son. It's set uh, right after World War II, and they live in a huge mansion on the Channel Islands. It's uh, very foggy there all the time. Um, so they're waiting for the dad. He's gone off to war, and he hasn't come back yet, so they're waiting for the dad to come back. In the meantime, the whole staff that takes care of the house is just up and left, and Grace sends out an advertisement, or as she says it, advertisement to hire on a new crew. Um, these three people show up at the door. This is Bertha, a young lady. I think her name's Lydia. I could be wrong. And, uh, and a gentleman. So she hires them on and she is showing them the house. And uh, later on it comes out that they had worked in the house previously be before they lived in it. So they know the house very well. Um, but while she's showing them the house, she is telling them that the children, Anne and Nicholas, are allergic to light, any kind of light, not just sunlight. So it, if they get in contact with light, they'll break out in hives and they will could possibly die. So it's very important to keep all the curtains closed at all the times any, where, where the kids are. And so all the curtains are closed in the room where the kids are. And if you're going to enter that room, you have to close the previous door and close all the curtains before you open this door. So they're very sensitive. And she is very protective over this. <coughs> um, like I said, it's, it's always foggy there. Uh, she, Grace, um, <clears throat> is a very religious woman. She homeschools her kids uh, before homeschooling was popular then. Um, Anne is always saying she hears and talks to and sees these ghosts, which makes Grace very angry because, she, like I said, she's very religious. And this gets uh, Anne in a lot of trouble. She has to do a lot of Bible reading for her punishment. I guess you would call that a punishment. But anyway, and for scaring her little brother. Um, there was one time where <coughs> Grace is tired of being trapped in the house. And she's tired of the ghost and the and the little girl making it up. But she she starts hearing things herself: footsteps, bumps, uh, talking. Uh, so she decides she's going to go into town and um, go to church and have someone come to the house and bless the house. While she's out walking to to go to the church, the fog gets even worse. It gets thicker, and she can't even see where she's going. She gets all turned around. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergies. She gets all turned around, and out of the fog comes her husband. Oh, she's so happy to see him. He's finally home. You know, the, the she takes him into the house, which is a mansion, and the kids are, you know, very excited and happy that Dad's home. Uh, but uh, Anne tells Dad of what happened that day. She's always talking about, well, not always, but every now and then she brings up what happened that day. And her mother's always trying to shut her up. So you don't really find out what happened that day until much later in the movie. <clears throat> so he, the husband, I think his name is Steve, but he, he gets really upset with, uh, with Grace. And he leaves again. He, you know, he doesn't want to be with her for what she did. And we don't really know what she did. And he, he doesn't want anything to do with her. So he leaves. And, of course, the house, the hauntings become stronger. And Bertha <clears throat> is uh, trying to explain to, Aunt, I'm sorry, Grace, that sometimes the living get confused with the dead. You know, their, their lives and their parallel universes get a little bit mixed up and intertwined. So, this movie is so good. I'm trying not to give too much away. But she's trying to give you a sense of what it's about. Yeah, you just gotta watch it. It's you know, it's 
thrilling. It's, it's on your edge of your seat. You're, you're like, what's going to happen next? <clears throat> but it's really good. It's extremely good acting. Um, extremely good plot and how it's set up and how it's laid out. And you will, it's a very good ending. It's a shocker ending. If you haven't seen it before, you haven't heard, give it a watch. It's really good. I would give it a four. Like, I, I don't, I like scary movies, but I don't like the blood, guts, and gore type movies. I think that's, in my opinion, that's just a cheap way to do a movie. I like a better, uh, better storyline and use your own imagination. So if you like that kind of movie, suspenseful, surprise ending, this is a good one to watch. Again, thanks for watching Pass the Popcorn. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good night.